What is something I could do right now, right now, like today, to test and see if I have simple food allergies I can eliminate and feel much better? Stay tuned. We're going to talk about something you can do at home in order to see if you have food allergies. Welcome to Gut Freedom, where we find your gut problem, fix it so you can live your best life. I'm Jason Goto, and I'm here to talk today about how can we do something real simple at home to see if we have food allergies causing a lot of problems? Well, it's been interesting the last two weeks. You know, sometimes the universe sends you a lot of things that you probably need to talk about for others to help them. In the last two weeks, I've actually had three different patients come in, one with like psoriasis and the webbing of their fingers and hands, so they were getting all chapped and dry, and she had no idea what was going on. A second one I had, swelling of the lips, but just a little bit, just enough of an irritation where she could feel tingling and some bizarre sensation in her lips, but it's not every day, and she just couldn't figure out what it was. And my third, a guy came in and he had all this weird rash showing up on his abdomen, sporadically, couldn't really figure it out. It wasn't every day, and it would just come and go throughout the months. And when you get these kind of patients, you're thinking, gosh, what could that be? Well, a really simple thing to look at are food allergies. So what are the most common food allergies we have in the American diet? All right, here they are. Oh, if you can see it with my finger in the way. Dairy, eggs, peanuts, fish, wheat, soy, and tree nuts. Now you're probably thinking, uh, what the hell is a tree nut? Well, tree nuts can be anywhere from almonds, cashews, walnuts, pecans, and hazelnuts. Do you know the other word for hazelnut? It's kind of interesting. Filbert. Yeah, filbert, hazelnut, same thing. So what did I suggest to the patients? I said, okay, look, look, look. If we want to see if it's something simple that's just reoccurring in your diet, why don't we look and see if you have food allergies? So eliminate all of these. For how long? One week. Eliminate all of these top food allergens for one week. If your symptoms go away, the rash, the webbing, or whatever symptoms you may have, gas and bloating, um, sinus problems, itchy eyes, itchy inner ears, just bizarre things that happen in the body, sometimes they're all diet related. And when you eliminate these top food allergens, you tend to feel a lot better. So we're going to eliminate all, not just one, not two, all of the top allergens for one week. Then what do we do? Well, after we eliminate all of them for one week, the next week, this will be week number two, we're going to add two of them back into the diet. So let's say week number two, we're going to put back in dairy and eggs. Okay, we do that for a week. How am I feeling? Did my symptoms come back? Anything weird happening? No? Okay. Then next two things we're going to throw back in. Peanuts and some fish. Did my symptoms come back? Yes. Okay. Which one was it? We have to eliminate again the peanuts and the fish. And then for one more week, and then we add back in the peanuts or we add back in the fish. This is very similar, yes, to an elimination diet, but elimination diets, I mean, unless you're severely type A and are really sick, they're extremely difficult to do. I mean, it's very limiting on the food and all those kind of things. This is a very simple solution first. So what are we going to do? Take all the top food allergens, eliminate them for one week. After one week, add two of any of them back into the mix for one week and see if the symptoms come back. Well, I hope that helped. Hey, leave some comments below. Give me some questions. Let me know what kind of videos you need me to make to help you out. And I'll see you on the next Gut Freedom. Mm -hmm.